It's day 11 of the Whiskey Tornado Advent Calendar, and as you can tell, I'm sick as <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Whiskey Tornado. I'm your host, Lance. It's day 11. I uh, hope you guys have been enjoying this Advent Calendar. I apologize for my voice. I am sick as a dog, but uh, you know, we're, we're gonna fight through on this. The flu has hit the Lyle household and I think every other household in the United States. So uh, we're plowing through here with day 11. I have not had any whiskey, so um, I have no idea if, if I'm even gonna be able to smell or taste or, or what, but we're gonna plow through because uh, you know, we're not pussies here, so. Oh man, this smells good for uh, for being sick. It smells a little fruity, a little like uh, red raspberries. Mm. So um, for those that are just tuning in to the Whiskey Advent Calendar, my wife has pulled these from the bunker. We're drinking these blind. Our Patreon members are enjoying these with me every day. So, so far, day three had held into the lead. It was Michter's Barrel Strength Rye. Um, but for me, Calumet 16 took the lead. Um, so that's what's winning the, the calendar. And I've been so excited to share all these amazing pours with you guys. Gosh, I can't hear. I can barely talk. Um, I'm supposed to record like seven of these today. So, boy, this smells really good. It almost has a minerality note to it if I'm not crazy. Um, I said it smelled fruity, which it does, but there is a little bit of, uh, of some minerality on this, on the nose. So that makes me either believe that it's some kind of, um, it's like either blended with a Dickel product or it is Dickel, but I don't know that I have any Dickel and I mean, I don't I can't imagine I have any Dickel in the bunker. But boy, it smells very uh, Flintstone vitamin E to me on, on the nose. Unless I'm just crazy and sick. So here we go. Onto the palate. Cheers to day 11, everybody. That was my first drink of the day. And that tasted very thin, oaky, and a lot of minerality to it for me. Um, man, I hope my taste isn't just like failing me here. I've got a lot more videos to shoot today. I'm going to take another sip because the finish just was nothing. It was non-existent. Yeah, that's not doing it for me. Um, it's thin. I'd say around 100 proof. Um, I don't know what I would have. It's got to have some kind of dickle in it. It's It feels like it's blended with dickle. What I don't know because I'm sick is... Am I just picking up the minerality and some of the other stuff blended in is not coming through or is this just purely Dickel? I don't know. People all the time say, oh, you like it. You just know it's Dickel and, and that's why you say you don't like it. Well, if this is Dickel, it proves I don't like Dickel. So um, here's the sealed envelope from my wife on day 11. Let's see what we're drinking. Uh, it is. It is George Dickel. You cannot, that note stands out so much to me. This is not George Dickel Tennessee whiskey. This is George Dickel bourbon. So I believe it's maybe the, um, it's the new one that just came out. Um, I'll have to, I'll post the bottle, what the bottle looks like, but it is the George Dickel bourbon. And I'm sorry, it still tastes like George Dickel to me. I've heard a lot of good reviews, um, but for me, this is just, um, just not, it's not it. Even sick. I can pick out the dickle. <laughs> All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed day 11. We'll see you on day 12. Cheers. <laughs> 